Wright. I'm Hattie Galloway. And I'm Colin Riley. And this year we partnered with Pride of the Lakes for our DECA project. As a community awareness project, we really wanted to help local businesses and Pride of the Lakes gave us this opportunity. Up on the screen, you are seeing the Pride of the Lakes mission statement to inform and promote the importance of shopping local. Pride of the Lakes is a community-based organization that helps and uh, pushes the importance of shopping local and helping the local economy. During our presentation, we'll be covering six main points, those being the rationale, goals, campaign and activities, our budget, and our key metrics. Up on the screen is a quote from Nathan Hansen, who is owner of American Cleaners in downtown Alexandria. He is talking about the current customer behaviors of shopping online before looking locally. That he is in fear of these current tendencies and fears that more local businesses will go out of business if people don't change. This paired with COVID-19 restricting summer tourism during the summer months has created a clear problem and the increased need of the importance of shopping local. So the importance of shopping local. Simply put, money spent local stays local. To be exact, $68 of every 100 stays in our local economy. It affects everything that we do. It affects our schools, our businesses, and our lives. And every adult can do something to help, whether that's getting gas before they go out of town or looking locally before looking online. If every adult in Douglas County each month would shift $20 from online spending to local spending, we'd have an additional $600,000 per month in our local economy. Our project goals. For our project, we created three main goals and every decision we made was based off these goals to make sure that we met every single one of these goals with every campaign and activity we did. Our first and most important goal was youth involvement. We wanted to make sure that the youth were properly educated on the importance of shopping local. Pride of the Lakes being created two years ago has been focusing on being able to start up and being a successful organization while they've used a lot of newspaper and radio ads. Unfortunately, they've neglected a certain age range, which is our age range of the 14 to 18 year olds. So our goal was to help educate them and share the importance of shopping local. Our second project goal was helping out local businesses. During COVID-19, the local businesses took a hard hit on having to close and not having as many tourists this summer. And Pride of the Lakes really just wants to help these local businesses get back on their feet and stay open and stay thriving. Our third and final project goal was the goal of unity. We already know that many businesses in Douglas County are already unified with organizations such as Wake Up Alexander and the Downtown Merchants, but we're focusing on a different type of unity. The unity of a community and their local businesses. Especially during this time of COVID, we need everyone to do their part in shopping local and keep money in our local economy. Up on the screen, you can see our activities calendar. For the past several months, we've been working with Pride of the Lakes and we've created campaigns and activities. Those being Pride of the Lakes Bingo, promotional videos, youth presentations, Holly Hundreds, and our current campaign, the Spend Douglas Challenge. Our first campaign that we ran was Pride of the Lakes Bingo. This was the first campaign for Pride of the Lakes in the 2020 fiscal year, and this ran from, our, from August to October of 2020. Community members could go to the Chamber of Commerce and pick up a bingo card, which, lo which had 25 local businesses on it. In order to win money and be entered in a giveaway, one had to get receipts from their favorite local businesses and get a bingo either up and down, sideways, or diagonally. Our second, Activity that we had was making promotional videos. We had created two types of promotional videos. The first one being highlighting different businesses that have sponsored this local high school, which for example, the Commons is sponsored by Agard. We created a multitude of different videos just thanking these businesses for giving us a great learning experience and enriching us in this amazing high school. The second type of video we created was we sent to local businesses for our spring campaign that's going on right now. And we filmed in places around Alexandria and Douglas County including Newnan's Park, Big Ole, and downtown Alexandria, just to show our love for this local community. Our third was youth presentations. Mr. Hartman and Mrs. Jacob gave us the opportunity to go to nine of their business classes and present to them on what Pride of the Lakes is, how they can help, and the impact they can have on our community. Our fourth project activity that we had was 
the Holly Hundreds campaign. This was the Christmas theme campaign and we really based this around the holiday spirit. 20 different community members of picked at random were all given a $50 Chamber Bucks gift card, which can be used at any business that is a part of the Chamber of Commerce. Winners could be picked at random, being like the 11th customer to walk in the store, or if they bought a certain item, and we really just did this to spread the holiday spirit. Our fifth and final activity, which is going on right now, is a Spend Douglas Challenge. This is a social media challenge that the local digital marketing class helped create. This class helped create the name, the logo, and wrote different radio ads and create flyers for this campaign. We really thank that class and thank Mrs. Jacob for giving us the opportunity to create this campaign. And we really want everyone here to help. How you can help is whenever you're shopping local, take a picture of you shopping, take a picture of the merchandise you bought, post on either your Facebook or Instagram story, take the business you helped, take by the likes, and challenge three friends to spend Douglas. For our budget, we had our main campaigns and those included Pride of the Lakes Bingo, the Holly Hundreds campaign, the Spend Douglas Challenge, and our additional um, marketing. These all added up to be about $10,500. Now we'll begin with our key metrics. Our first key metric was our social media following. Uh, this was really important to us because it was, social media is one of the best ways of marketing and definitely one of the most cost efficient ways of marketing. We used it for everything on promoting the importance of shopping local, as well as promoting all of our campaigns. Since taking over Pride of the Lights social media accounts in September, we have gained over 200 new followers combined from Facebook and Instagram, and that brings us to a combined total of 570 followers on Instagram and just over 600 followers on Facebook. Our next key metric is pledges. What the pledge is, it is something you can take on the Pride of the Lights website. You fill out your name, your email, and you check the little box saying that you will help and do business locally whenever possible. Uh, we, in, we promoted this because we wanted people to think about taking the pledge and think about shopping local before looking online. We got a total of 88 new pledges, and that brings us to a total of just over 330 pledges. Our next key metric is impressions. Uh, right when we met right away in August, we wanted to get as many in-person impressions as we could, especially presenting to the age group of 14 to 18. Due to COVID-19 gathering size restrictions and forcing distance learning, we had to reduce our goal and come up with other ways. We still did reach a large amount of people who all fell in the age range of 14 to 18 and were students in either Ms. Jacob or Mr. Hartman's business class. When promoting the importance of shopping local and presenting to them, we not only gained more social media followers, but also gained pledges as they understood the importance of shopping local. Our final key metric is young adult participation. Being one of our key components of our uh, project, we wanted to track how many of our new followers and pledges fell in that 14 to 18 age range. Of our 88 pledges, we had 77% of them fall in that age range, which we were very pleased with. For social media, 90% of our new Instagram followers were in that age range of 14 to 18, and the one spot we couldn't get a large impact in was on Facebook, but Facebook is just filled with a bunch of moms. <laughs> our, total of Facebook pledge, of, our total of pledges and social media followers came to 54% of all uh, were in that age range. Working with Pride of Likes this year taught us a lot about how shopping local really helps our local, our local economy and everyone in this economy. And we really want to thank Tara Bitson and Lauren Johnson of the Chamber of Commerce for giving us this experience. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Do you have any questions? Nice job. Uh, I'm going to just ask you a question that doesn't have to do with your project, but more of what you learned. So what you're gonna find when you go to college or enter the workforce, you're gonna be working on projects and in project management all the time. What is one lesson that you will take from this project with you to the future? Well, one lesson that I learned is the lesson of communication. Although we got up to a rough start in the first two months or so, we then set up weekly meetings with the Chamber of Commerce and with our team as a whole, that we were able to meet and go over our different events and different campaigns that we were running. A lesson that I learned along with communication was time management. Throughout the several months we've been working with Tara and Lauren at the Chamber uh, with Pride of the Lakes, 
Um, we've had to plan all of our campaigns and when they're going to start, when they're going to finish. When, and Colin's been running the social media and he's had to uh, figure out when he's going to post. And I just think that's a very good time management skills. Something I've learned is how to be creative with things. Uh, a lot of our things are really hard to track exactly how many people are partaking in them. Like some of our campaigns, like Holly Hundreds, it's really hard to track how many people are going to shop local due to that campaign. So we really had to become creative with our marketing ways and try to find ways to be able to track and monitor our success of our project. Uh, the question that I have is, uh, how do you see this uh, initiative expanding over the coming years, with, both within the DECA program, but also within the community? Well, I think this year we had a really large focus on young adult and the youth. When we originally met with Tara and Lauren, that was really what they wanted us to achieve this year. And I think we did a pretty good job at that. I think in the future, definitely having in-person events is just going to be crucial. I mean, without COVID, that changes a lot of things. And we, we can create community unity even better. And I think in the DECA program, uh, before us, it was two people did it for two years straight, working with it in DECA. And now we've taken it this year. And I think the project just keeps getting better and better every year. Thank you. When I hear about the shop local, um, do you, do you, how would, I'm going to change how I ask my question. How would you define what shop local really means? And is shopping at a local big box store the same or different than shopping at a small privately owned store? Um, that is a very wide variety of question because shopping local can mean so many different things. It can mean you go downtown to a, bo a boutique and buy clothes there. Or another way, you could fill up your tank in town and that also is shopping locally. And if you do go to Target or Walmart and you buy stuff there, that's kind of shopping locally, but not the big picture. When you do uh, shop at those places, you are putting money into that business and the workers there, they are getting their paychecks and hopefully they are taking um, the money from their paycheck and they're going to shop locally just to put that money right back into our community.